You ever like flush the toilet before you're done peeing? I've never done that. I was like nervous. I just did that. And I was nervous that you guys were going to like uh, hear me. Like I was mid piss stream, flushed it before I was done. And like my pee was <laughs> going after I, the flush came back up. That's like what you do when you're five to try to beat the stream. Yeah, I think there's never like a, stopped. I think there's like a weird. It's not like a young thing. I think it's like in my head. I'm like, I gotta move quickly. Like there's, there's no, there's no, <laughs> there's time. no time. There's, there's no, never I don't have time, time for this. Yeah. Damn. Right now the energy. I can bike. see your sweat driplets. Yeah, I don't look good right now. You have a little bit of bags. Not gonna lie to you. Under my eyes. Yeah. Oh, they've been bad. Yeah. It's so, gotten bad. Yeah. What's up? I don't know. I slept like pretty well last night, but I think it's got to the point where it's like a. A real enough thing now that it's not like a one night fix. It's not like, oh, I get a good. I think I'm just like old now. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks. I try to take care of it, but. Ooh, the acceptance on this. But it takes care of me. We're here. You're my Live. fiance now. I think those people thought we were like fiance. You were, if I, I was paying fiance. attention to you, I think I would have turned around and tried to kiss you. Maybe. That would have been so funny. I probably would have let you kiss me on the cheek. If they were cute, no, that would have been like. About cheek. That would have been such a good like setup in there. If those girls were actually like kind of attractive, they're like kind of cute. They're like five in this five point. I didn't know. I don't look at girls when I'm out. You were just ordering desserts for Heather, right? Yeah, dude. Ask her. He, <laughs> you're gonna watch this afterwards. <laughs> He's gonna come home. Okay, wait. It's it's uh, what day? Sunday. Do? Stop. It's no. That would fuck. That would have been fuck. Funny. No, I need to get to the okay. premise of this though. Yeah. It's Friday right now, Heath. If Steve, I want you to text me after you watch Why Yell this week. If Steve came home empty-handed on Friday, you're my new co-host. Wait, wait, wait. You think I'm going to eat this mother, like, on the train? You have that? Don't look. Wow. I'm pissed. <laughs> I think I look okay for me. Yeah, you do. Oh, wow. We're going to start like this? What do you mean? Fucking hit him up. It's Sunday. Why, Why are you yelling? Turn it off. Was it, you didn't know, like that? We're about to eat desserts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's it's Sunday. Steve decided to yell. Accordingly, we got a lot of energy right now. We just Sugar walk, rush, baby. We just walked straight out of the bakery. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Tony, are you including the bakery clips in the vlog? Like, are you including everything we had today in the vlog? Okay. So you guys yesterday might have watched the vlog. We ended in the bakery, which is we just came from five seconds ago. Prequel. Pop Shop Bakery. Say that six times. Pop Shop, we've done this before, and I rip it every time. Not exactly that one, but every time you try to fucking, every time you try to test me, I become your teacher. Yeah. Five times. Pop Shop Bakery, 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 Pop Shop Bakery. I think I went six. I think I went extra credit. I'm ups I'm upset. Yeah, I just graduated on your fucking ass. Dude, Sugar Rush is in. Pop Shop Bakery, very good. Learn today. Everything they make is gluten-free, dairy-free too. Uh, something he said. I got everything that wasn't dairy free. So incredible. I was gonna say, how did they pull that off with? Because all everything there is. I got everything. Phenomenal. Anything that cheesecake in Nutella in bars. Yeah, rolls, <laughs> bars in. cookies. Yeah, literally they got everything there. Phenomenal place. If you happen to be on Bleaker Pop Shop Bakery, check it out. Also, if you happen to be on Bleaker Coco's Coffee Shop, sponsoring energy is not brought to you by Pop Shop. It's brought to you by Coco's. Coffee shop. You still getting free coffees? How did? Because last time I was here, you said you paid. No, um, I I talked to the guy the next time, and uh, and he he gave me the free coffees. Like whenever you come in, I got you. And he gave me like they have a a, fr a frequent coffee drinker card. It's actually right here, not this one, but he gave me one of these that he checks off all five of them. He's like, if I'm not here, you just give it to whoever like the whoever's working there. Like pop pop. Wow, the coffee's all. You like the guy Will Ferrell and uh, kicking and screaming. Exactly, I, I have a coffee a card. card. He's like, we don't have those cards. <laughs> That's like my favorite part of like any Will Ferrell Great movie, movie ever. So, what's going on? Well, we decided big that boy. we decided that the BDGE draft weekend is is bike, and we told you that last week on why you yelling. But this week we have started to make steps forward to to making sure that it is it is in fact happening. We have secured. I want to say seven people from the Have previous you? weekend. Okay, because it was five when I last spoke. Okay, Six. maybe I'm including myself. Okay. So, so it's it's LJ. John. John. Austin. Brett, Austin. Chris. Oh, someone's going to be... Kyle. That's I'm, it. Is that six? Yeah. Okay, so that's six and then me, seven. So we have five extra spots. We have five spots... <laughs> And now back to your regularly scheduled program. To fill up the draft weekend. So that's 
That's good. We just so we lock I, the the old comers, the grandfathered in. We price it at fifteen, yeah, fifteen hundred a person. Anyone new coming in, it'll be two thousand for the weekend. That way, we for sure won't lose money. I'm sure, we'll find a way. There's no one better at losing money than we are. Yeah, we we'll do it consistently. But I started, doing time. A, I started doing projections on an Excel sheet and I was like really getting obnoxious with the pricing. I'm like, okay, if this happens, which like 75% chance that happens, I'm like we'll still walk away with like 800 bucks. You think? More than that, I think. If we can pull, if I could fill five. You think five, I'm, a, you think I'm gonna get a check this year? No. I mean, uh, you're not getting it. No. Oh, no. <laughs> no. It's <laughs> going to Gordon. <laughs> going to, all right. So we look, so we basically started looking at Airbnbs and the first place I, lo- I found when I searched it. Wanted to be somewhere downtown where things are happening. Your first place I saw, I was like, yo, this is this is fucking dope. Looks incredible. So I just booked it like right off the rip. Didn't do any other research and look at anything else. I just like send it to you. I was like, we you were like, the glow up is real. And I was like, fuck yeah, it's booked. <laughs> so we booked it and then the guy was like, Oh, I see you're in New York, so you can come check out the place. So we just got back from the Airbnb. Uh so here's what I think. My initial reaction is Really cool spot. It almost feels like it, it should be somewhere in, like, Arizona or in, like, facts. the mountains of California or something. Not facts. What do you mean? Just keep like going. Like Calabasas or some shit. And really cool, like, quirky place, which I think is a cool quality of Airbnb. Like you always want to stay yeah, in a place where you're like, unique. oh, this is, like, unique. Yeah. Uh, it felt like you were in the middle of the jungle, but in Lower East Side of New York City. It was... The guy told us that basically... He worked at like a big hedge fund, made a fuckload of money through Amazon stock, and then just like closed on this apartment, which is a huge place. We estimated that it probably cost him like $3 million. So he's like, yeah, I just threw it up on Airbnb to make some money back off of it. It's like completely, it looks like he closed it like two weeks ago. Yeah. Like kind of unfurnished for the most part. And It like, looks kind of like the the factory Adam Sandler was living in and Big Daddy. Yeah, that's Same a good way vibes. to put it. Yeah, yeah. but like expand it. Like take yeah. like if you were like looking at it a PNG wide, it on a computer, yeah. like you take the little corner piece and yeah. like drag <laughs> it up like that. Yeah, it was uh my my gut feeling is like this is an awesome place, but there needs to be something that happens between now and then for it to like become the place. Yeah. I don't feel comfortable walking out of it being like, yeah, like that's our No, vibe. yeah, I definitely had a little bit of a weird vibe. I think the best way to explain it, we might get it before it's awesome. Yeah. And that's the issue. The like one thing I'm starting to think about, which now doesn't make sense, he said it was like a sausage factory back in the day, and it, they, it was like, you. he said, but then he was like, yeah, they would just hang horses up here, and it was like conveyor belts. What the fuck you need horses for in a yeah, I sausage let, factory? I kind of let that Only go it was by, a too. glue farm. I thought he said, at first I thought he said, like, he was in the sausage industry. You know how in... Uh, <laughs> In Ferris Bueller's Day Off, he's like the king of sausage, like yeah, a Chicago yeah. sausage or whatever the fuck that guy was. I was like, is this him? This is like his claim to fame. Like he's a... Oh my God. They hit the tower. Yo, the lightning is going nuts right now. Or is that just the... Woo! That hit the tower. Let's go. Bible. We got a, a, a fantastic storm going on. July 4th weekend. Ruined. Nothing better. TJ's in Las Vegas. I'm stuck here by myself. Steve's off for a couple of days. <laughs> Two days like a normal person. <laughs> but like you said... Airbnb, it's it, it was it didn't live up to the photos. Has great potential, but it's hopefully because the photos are taken during the day. Yeah, a lot of daylight came came in. I still think it, it sucks because it was really warm too. They don't have like you know what's the fucked up part about New York? It's like we could pay this much for a rent in this place, and that guy probably paid three million dollars for that place. Can't even get fucking air. Three million dollars can't get you air conditioning. Like that's absurd. It's hard. Kind of pisses me off. Um, yeah, the place is warm. So if we catch it on a weekend, it's obviously we can't predict it Fox. now. If we catch it on a weekend where it's like 90 to 95, that place is going to be insane. We might have to look at the Mayan calendar or something. <laughs> yeah, try to predict it from far out. I mean, he- Heather's been looking at the calendar for our wedding next year. She's like, statistically speaking, oh the Fridays... You know what, Heath? I, yeah. hope, I hope he came back empty-handed today <laughs> for that bullshit. So that's what she said. So uh, I, think, um, I think it's like so close to being perfect, that place. I honestly... I just love that... There's no neighbors up top, no neighbors on bottoms. That's always my biggest fear on these weekends. The people around us could ruin the whole weekend for these guys. We've never had problems, though. And I know, but it's always a fear of mine, like, when we go into it. Because we, you never know. You never know if someone's out there and, like, yeah. fuck you, we don't want you here. And they We just almost keep... got in trouble last time, I feel like, actually, for being outside. Or they told us, like, don't be outside after, like, 10 p.m. People will call the cops. I don't think it ever happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we, we didn't we're, utilize we're the... Out- oh, they also the rooftop, which was, like, an outdoor place like wasn't done or like there was the wood panels that weren't ready. And he's like, I don't know if they're going to be ready by the time you guys move in. So our plan is this, like people show up on 
Friday, and we usually get into the apartment or Airbnb 2, 3 o'clock, and then they stay until Sunday when we have to leave at like noon, 2 o'clock, whatever. And we've always done the fantasy draft on Saturday. So typically they get there Friday, we hang out at the house, you know, we all like say what's up, play some drinking games, like pregame yeah. a little bit, and then we have like a good dinner going out night planned for Friday night. Wake up, Steve makes breakfast, we go work out with Noah, uh, we have our fantasy draft from like, I don't know, like noon to five-ish, whatever. Get it catered, hang out, pregame for the night out. Go to a rooftop club, kind of ball out because it's always my birthday weekend. Wake up Sunday, dead, and everybody goes home. This time around, I'm thinking... Uh, Instantly draft. I'm thinking we make sure everybody gets there relatively early, and we draft Friday night. And after after the draft, I want to just throw down at that place. That'd be awesome. My thinking is like... my. my it's a good th- thought because also too you can have people come here. That's true, and then just subway down there. It's not that far. Everyone only has a suitcase. That's true. What what would be the point of that though? What do you mean? Just so if they need early flights. Oh, if they get in. Or, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, good, good call. So the only thing with that, the only thing with the party thing is like that'd be awesome for us, right? We just I'd invite with that place is enormous. We could literally be like, no yo, problem. and I'd invite everybody and be like. You Everyone invite. I invited, you invite everybody. Yeah. yeah. So we could, like, I literally was like, you can host 200 people here. So when he said that, I was like, fucking bingo, game over. My only concern is that they're only here for two nights. And it's like, if we have five new people, like, coming to New York for the first time, it's just like, we're spending one night just in an... But that means we have to just bring the noise for Saturday. Yeah. Because essentially, too, you got you do that anyways. The draft takes so... I took I, I fell asleep, not a nap. I took a sleep during the draft. <laughs> woke up, y'all still drafting. I took a sleep. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I also think the party would be fun to sell, too. So yeah, I don't think it's a party. Complain. So and like, we can go out gonna, afterwards, too. Yeah. Like, people can go out as they please. Yeah, so I think that would be fun as fuck. The other problem is, like, figuring out what to do Saturday. So I was thinking, like, since we don't have the draft, that takes up a big part of the day, right? That kills a lot of the day. Like, we could still get up. We can do the workout with Noah. I was thinking, like, animal snacks can, like, we could go to a basketball court and have them be, like, captains and pick five-on-five five teams we could play against each other. I mean, if we get a spot on Saturday for that oh, court. Best, yeah, yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah. But after that, like, I would like to I would like to take them to, like, a proper NYC brunch as well. Yeah. You know, like, 2 o'clock or Gabe or some shit. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Course. We Gabe them 2 o'clock. But the problem with that is if we're going to be, like, rooftop bar all night Saturday night, like, that's a tall order. For anybody, no matter what age you are. Or maybe that's just me. Maybe I would be fucking super pumped about that when I was that age. Like, 22, like, agave brunch at 2 o'clock, rooftop bar till like, 3 a.m. Like, Well, I think that's perfect. We do the brunch. We reel them back into the house. You know, you got to change. But People the, would nap I, in. I, we could go, like, brunch and, like, hop around, like, hair of the dog. I was thinking we could set up at, like, Washington Square Park. It would be fun if we, like, picnic for, like, a couple hours. Picnic. You know what I'm saying? Yo, we can't, we can't fucking classy in Carrots this and guacamole and shit. Yeah. 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 Oh, Pop, shop. Know. <laughs> Pop shop bakery yeah, and all. Dude, I'm, I'm in. Bro. Pop shop no more. So, yeah, that that's kind of my thought. I mean, realistically, I want to show them, like, what a, a day or a weekend in New York is. And that, that would be, like, it. Like, And I think that one. Fantasy day. draft, party, agave, yeah. Washington Square Park, go out, rooftop. It's go. funny because, like, everyone, like, that I talk to, is when I, you say the price because you say it vocally. Like, isn't that expensive? It's just like... Yeah, but, because that's how much it fucking costs. But we also bring the fucking noise. Yeah. And it's just like, that means Saturday, if we're going to have an all-day thing, we're going to have to have an all-day thing. Yeah. So let's yeah. fucking Oh, well, I'll it. be ready. These yeah. bags won't fucking stop me. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be present, but they will be they will be hidden. I think uh, I think it'll be great. Like, I'm, we always... I mean, they wouldn't keep coming back if we didn't do it good. Exactly. Right? We got seven, six guys locked up from last year. We have... That's because I'm, Snacks and Mike are not going to be in the draft. Yeah. They're not going to be in the league this year. Uh, they'll both still be there for the weekend, though. I just mm. wanted to open up spots to new subscribers because a lot of people, like, every time we put those videos out, they're like, can I do it next year? 99% of them, they're like, oh, we got to pay for this? Like, yeah, yeah motherfucker. <laughs> like, you think I'm just throwing down $20,000 for the weekend? For Not you? yet. Yeah, soon, maybe, soon. But, yeah, I'm excited. It was, it's I was nice. thinking about I was thinking about putting one up as an NFT, spot as an NFT. What do you mean? Like, uh, like a token as an NFT. Let people bid on it. Really? Yeah. We, we're we eventually going to need to start do something NFT related. And I think this would be a cool token to start it off with. I don't know if I have the time frame to like pull it off or figure out what I actually want to do with it. Like how Gary V's token is. How's that going? You bought it, right? I bought it. 
and I've been offered like seven times the amount already for it. I bought it for half an ETH. I've been offered like 3.6 ETH for it, oh, wow. which is like 10 Gs already. Yeah. I'm holding it because I want to go to the fucking conference. But that's the thing. That's like a practical use case for it. You bought the you bought Gary V's token, and he's going to create a conference, and that token gives you access to the conference for three years. And you can only go to the conference if you have the token. Ooh. So, like, what I would do is auction off, like, oh, this is the last spot in the BDG league. Like, you, whoever buy, like, it could go off for four hundred dollars, yeah, and that would fuck me. But it could also get priced up to four thousand dollars. I don't know, but I would give something else with that. I could be like, you buy this NFT. This is a contract for me to be on a video call with you for your entire friends and family draft or whatever this summer this also gets you access to like next year's draft or you know what i mean like yeah, 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 yeah. I, I fly you out at one point during the nfl season you come watch it hang out for a sunday with us here or something you know what i mean like yeah, something yeah. Uh, attached on top of it i would like to do some sort of big dogs nft with it um i just don't really know the the logistics behind it which i just be think we day. have we don't have that much time so yeah. maybe that just don't My, make a shitty work just because you want to take it out. Yeah, yeah. Because you're yeah. gonna like make a deal that's gonna be amazing for them, and then you're. you're yeah, I mean that's how. Fun. Yeah, that that's how it works though. Like that's how NFTs I feel like are because so people are so new to it. It's so, like the it's you're gonna get the gains later on in life. Right. Yeah. If my I mean. audience was like very up to date on what's happening in like the crypto world and NFTs and things, I think it would be like a great uh thing to do right now because i'd probably get my money's worth for it mm -hmm. but i just feel like half the people like won't know how to set up a wallet on like a crypto yeah. you know like a wallet on fucking whatever I, it's so funny that i own a share of this crypto punk and i fuck yeah i'm just we're just gonna sit on that forever i just keep telling everybody like that's my retirement heather's like are you sure I'm like <laughs> hell yeah just eat your fucking cookies heath <laughs> Um, what else we got the draft weekend yeah so that's a, that was like the the itinerary i was thinking no that's dope i like that i didn't have anything no, draft weekend, yeah, that's all I had on my plate. So you didn't bring but, any ideas? You just listen to my, you listen to me no, spew I, you, them fucking facts? Well, I, I keep thinking like about, because I'm more of the behind the scenes, I got to figure out the foods, and just knowing that, like, Cat's Deli's right there, and also Mr. Purple, that's going to be make things extremely easy for us. Yeah, we just got to think be of, fantastic. Yeah, it's a, it's a perfect location, and now seeing it. So are we in it? Or, is that, or are we just taking the Airbnb? <sighs> I can see the concerns of why not taking it, but I like the pros. It's almost of it. like it's not concretely because look, it's not concretely it's not, like the best. So it's like we're we're leaving something up in the air because we don't know what it's going to be like when we get there. Yeah, we know but, what it looks like, but like we don't know what it's going to feel like. But like the openness of it, there's nothing there that's like valuable. <laughs> yeah. Just like it's a perfect thing that we need for the draft weekend. Like the first one, I remember we broke every single seat on the dining room table, and then the the Airbnb we had. This last, enables us to also have like. A shitload of people there throughout the entire weekend too. Yeah, just to like hang out as they want to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. First weekend, what we didn't have enough space for that. Last last weekend, we kind of we kind of did. We only really had the kitchen and the big ass living exactly. room. Exactly. No, there was downstairs a little bit, but not a lot of space to hang out. Like this, legitimately, you could have seventy people hanging out there no like, problem. for the entire weekend. No, I think it's great. That place is enormous, actually. Yeah, think about it. Like, like, keep insane. thinking about it. I'm telling you, he could put that down for double the price that we just paid for it and probably sell out. Next well, summer. and not right now, but he not right can. now. Yeah, dude, it is. Pouring outside. Is it? Is it bad? Oh wow! There's a real storm going on. When's that shit gonna stop? Never. I was off on Wednesday for the first time in nine days. It was electric. I got I a massage. Like what you did was the opposite of electric. I got a massage. Yeah. This lady had like a fucked up arm. I want to ask her if I can get like a quarter off because <laughs> <laughs> she definitely was missing a quarter of her so arm. Good? So good. Okay. I don't why know the if fuck she was, do you think you deserve a quarter off because her arm was a little wonky. But if it was so good, it was dope. I was really pumped up. What did you think about Fast and Furious Nine? I didn't. I didn't not enjoy it. Like I had fun at the movie. <laughs> the movie itself was in, insanity. Like they just shot Lude Chris into outer space for forty five minutes. <laughs> Kim and Tyrese. I I feel so dumb right now because I had things today, and right now I'm totally blocked, full of energy, and I have like no thoughts. The directors were just straight up, like just trolls. I feel like I feel like they sat in the boardroom writing it and were just like. How can we trigger everybody in the audience? Like, this is how we get Fast and Furious to keep getting funded. <laughs> like, let's just make it more and more ridiculous every year. Uh, they have a really huge loyal fan base. Do they, though? I feel like everyone is just like us. No, it's That's like, like this is going to be like China's, of, like, uh, that's their true. biggest. That's why they keep bringing that one guy back. Yeah, Han. From the dead. He yeah. comes back from the dead every time. Just... Actually, I don't even know if he was smoking or not. I he always just... smoked. I think, they no, like... I think he quit smoking. But then he came back as, as a smoker. Started, as a smoker. His bike. Oh, my God. Why am I blinking on everything? You're having brain fog. You got to start taking fish oil. Like, I had at least four things I wanted to say to you today. You've been sleeping good? I don't know. 
I kind of just like close my eyes, and then it's the next day I have to go back to work. It happens to me all the time. I'm telling you, you got it's it's your it's your you need fish oil. <laughs> Fuck, big I, fish guy. There's other things to talk about. You better think of them. It's July Fourth weekend. Do we have any plans? They're li- oh, happy July Fourth. They're listening to it on July Fourth. Just just fucking put Fuck, two and go. four together. And make seventeen. Uh, I think I'm at the beach today. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. Really? You want to go to the beach on July 4th? Sounds dumb. The fuck else are we going to do? What's your plan B? I told you, and you're not going to go because I, I don't know. I've never seen his brother's party. Yeah. Where is it? Is it in like Man- fucking Manalapin or something? It's like close to Emerson. It's even worse. Are you going to Emerson tomorrow? I'll probably go to Emerson. Big cookout. Tomorrow. Never mind. My dad's putting on the, sh- the I chef bring, jacket. I bring my grandparents? They would not thrive in that environment. Not at all. No. My grandpa might not walk out of the house. Like alive. What do you think would happen? I'm not sure. I just don't think. Is he racist? No, not at all. Uh, is he just I'm like. I'm pretty sure he's like a different race. I'm not even sure what race <laughs> my grandpa is. <laughs> he's just he's so tan all the time. I'm like, you're not the same. He's a race. Sicilian. Does he just you're say that? not the same race as me. I don't even think he's Italian. My dad's side is Italian. Oh, they're, they're he's Jewish. Jewish. Yeah, but like, it's not like a nationality. Like, it's just like. I just remember we used to call one of our friends Jewish. He's like, it's not a nationality, it's a religion. He would get really mad and be like, shut up. Who? Jewish man. Colin. <laughs> <laughs> He's not, Colin wasn't Jewish. I mean, he didn't know. They didn't know, but like. Yeah, I mean, we knew. Yeah. But like, he would never admit it. Yeah. I mean, we played like a CCD, like Assumption Basketball together. That's true. Wow. Tell me, Steve. I think I'm having a, like a brain an- aneurysm. A bad co-host segment from you. Yeah. I Like, I have no thoughts right now at all in <laughs> my head. Let's talk about that. What is happening? I'm actually a little scared. Dude. I, I think you, I had too much sugar. Do you remember... Yeah. Last week when yeah, I was having the you, brain fog? Yeah, but you were like... I thought you were having a stroke because you were like down. Like, I feel happy right now, but I have no thoughts. I just couldn't remember anything. Every time a thought popped in my head, it would just get like erased. How much caffeine do you have today? Uh, maybe like three espressos. Is that more than your normal? Yeah, for for a long time. I feel like if you don't sleep and you have a lot of caffeine, it fucks with your head. You know what? I've just been working a shit ton. It's been, like like I said, in like nine days. And like going to the stupid fucking movies on Saturday. Think it was that quarter... Quarter arm massage lady? You think she did something to you? you think like her. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean by like quarter arm? Where was she cut off at? It, I, I, like, I think this was missing. What do you mean like you think? Part. You couldn't see? It was like this. like. <laughs> but she had her. I, did, oh, I didn't know she had a gimp arm until after. Like How? when I went to go pay afterwards and she was coming to the counter. Like so she, she was, gave you a one arm massage the whole time? No, no, it was two arms. <laughs> one nub, one hand. <laughs> when she came back. <laughs> when she came back. It was like, this was here, and then this was here. <laughs> so, I don't... It's so hard to understand what you're saying with you actually having an arm. It looks like... Put your arm this, inside your shirt. It looks... Take put this Put it up. in, put it in. So, it was, it was like... So, she had an arm. She had a forearm and a hand. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> this part was there, but that part was missing. It's, it's it was like, just floating. Why? No bicep. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I don't know what it was, but she gave a mean, green, oiled hand machine. Job? Yeah. Sorry, this. It's not a ha- half job because she <laughs> didn't have a whole hand. Ooh. Dude, she was, she was strong. She was strong. See, what else? What other questions do you have? <laughs> Dude, I, I was trying to procrastinate because uh, I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, <laughs> Hamana. <laughs> Dude. Think about it. What's I going on in life? I had so much. Do you know something that I should be saying? Write some stuff. Why don't you? Don't, why don't you write topics down? Because I had I had it all day. I've been thinking about it. What do you do as prep? You just think about it all day. No, you try to write them down. But today I was like, I got this. I have three things I want to ask Nick. So what are you going to ask me? I just told you I have brain fog. We'll figure it out. Friends, unfog it. How are friends? Know. Good. How many of us have them? <laughs> I love that song. Friends it makes me sad. So I'm like, damn, I got no friends. Heather just got a uh, a job offer. Where? I don't know. I'm Where? oh well, yeah no Bro- location geographic Harold uh, Square you're in I'm in take it so she she's gonna be the breadwinner really yeah love that Heath and I, about time we stick it to Steve that's what I was saying and I think up until like seven years ago or eight years ago I think that would piss me off really and I think that was just because of like the life I lived with my family because my dad was just you know the breadwinner and that was how it was now I am so ecstatic that's amazing right yeah i'd be pumped i like, know like a lot of guys feel like emasculated if, if and i was the girl that's it that's it and i think i i think definitely at a point i definitely felt like that 
but I'm pretty pumped up. Like, and she should. She has she, like she has an MBA. She's okay. smarter than me. I'm. Wait, is this job like happening for real? So what I told her to do today, she told her job that she got a job offer. Oh, and, they're gonna match it, and then she's gonna. You guys are gonna stay in Montclair forever. <laughs> it's fucking nonsense. But, Wait, so are you gonna? Okay, sorry. Go on. Yeah. Well, that like so I, like I'm just trying to see what they're gonna do, and then is that gonna affect what you do for your job? I don't know if I can do this. She takes a job in the city. Yeah. You're going to fucking take a job <laughs> in New Jersey, and then you guys are not going to move into the city. The pro- She actually said, she's like, yeah, if I work in the city, maybe we could do a year in the city. And skirt. I just. You just rent. I, I found this Airbnb. It's sick. It's like 4K <laughs> I a weekend. Yeah. My problem is I've, I'm just coming into terms with my job. I can't keep on living like this, working on Sundays. I was going to hold your hand. No, fuck off. This is serious. But if you go into the city, then like Sunday doesn't matter. Sunday just becomes another day when you live here. You know what I'm saying? But I You're work. brainwashed into New Jersey time. No, frame. because Saturday I work. Sunday I work. That's the way it should be, boy. You see? <laughs> Sorry. Not, no, go. fuck off. Go, go, go. Oh. So you're just saying like no matter what, like you just need to take a job in New Jersey so you can have off on Sunday. Or I got to find That's what you do when you work for a football brand. You do any, by any means necessary. You get off on Sunday. I just feel like I, I I've completely lost my life this year when it comes to like outside. Like I think most people did. They lost their yeah, COVID. Like COVID's back. And like COVID's not COVID's might be COVID's back. Bike, <laughs> baby. But COVID going away. I'm saying like it was easy because COVID was here, so I didn't really feel it. But now that COVID's away, kind of, and like it's summer. Like this is the first su- like this is the second summer where I'm like I work Sundays. This fucking sucks and like i'm too tired because the commute sucks so i don't know man i feel like also i'm being a little bit of a bitch in my life like like sleep is important and i mean that's no it is important but i feel like i'm also being a little lazy where i could probably go out like when we went to fa- the fast and furious movie and afterwards i took a huge l getting home whatever yeah. i got home at like i think one you got home probably like later than me yeah 100 yeah. percent. and the next day i was just exhausted at work and i'm like this sucks this shouldn't have bothered me. I should be fine. Yeah. So I'm 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 stuck right now. I just don't think Hudson Yards is the answer right now. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what is. Damn. It's disappointing. I don't know what to do. I mean, you got to do what's best for me at the end of, <laughs> at the end of the day. I had so many fucking questions <laughs> today. <laughs> you, had, so you had three, and we probably one of them was definitely the draft weekend. No, it wasn't. Really? Yeah. Damn. What the fuck? These fucking mitts. <laughs> I don't know. I still don't understand if you never... What was the context behind me saying that? We were at the movies. This is an awful episode, by the way. Um, we were at the movies, and I told you to, like, hold my hand or something, or I told you to shut up. You're like, put these mitts? And, Wait, I, and I lost it. <laughs> you just referenced your hands as mitts? I, like, I know. I, I was trying to remember what was the context behind me saying it. I don't remember, but it was... Because I don't think I said it as a joke. I think I just have used the word mitts for hands. I've never before. heard it, and it... You lost your shit. Lost it. And you've been going on about it for like a week now. <laughs> I guess Using not. mitts as a uh, synonym Like for I told you, I almost, got, I almost got beat up. I don't know what to do with you. Today's not a good showing. I think you need to move to like Iowa for a year or something. Why? Just get yourself together. No, you, I'll be depressed. Yeah, but, but not after that year. You'll realize how bad it is there. <laughs> <laughs> You'll come back and be like, I like working on Sundays. Yeah. But Heather's also going to be remote, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, in the city? She works in the city. I don't. I don't. I don't even know, man. So you ain't these guys ain't coming to the city. We'll put it. <laughs> Tom, it's, oh my god! Is it like thirty-one minutes? Yeah, <laughs> I, exactly. Twenty-nine. What? I How? Like, I feel uh, like we've been talking forever, and I have nothing else to say. This is bad. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Think. Think of a question, Steve. We're just gonna end this episode right here. No, we're not. I. I, I can recoup from this huge L I'm taking for the last fifteen minutes. Let me see what's happening on my phone. Yeah, you have things on that. That device? Tony, you might have to edit some of this shit. <laughs> Taking L's. Snacks is auctioning off his uh, his baseball. He got $10 for your ball. Throw him $5 to fix your internet connection, too. <laughs> Someone's texting. <laughs> Someone's ex- texting Animal. <laughs> Someone's DMing Animal. Look at, the, look at the DMs. What the fuck? They, they like a big boy. There's more. I wonder who it is. It's like someone. I feel like it's you, Loki. Not gonna expose them, but what the fuck? Someone loves animal. When I say love, wait, I mean that's love. animal. I thought it was for snacks. No, it's animal. 
That's amazing. I'm surprised he didn't accept the offer. How many of us have them? When? <laughs> so we need to get back. There's no getting back. I should have never had that cookie. We shouldn't have went there. That cookie threw me off. Big time. How many? <laughs> Sorry, I can't stop saying that. Uh, okay. How are you doing? Like personally, I feel pretty good. Yeah. I feel like uh, I don't know. <laughs> wow, uh, riveting. I feel I feel like fucking. I feel a little stressed with 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 work. Like the the new draft guide should be ready to go in about ten days, or, s- or so they say. Okay. But it's like very. It's almost like the Airbnb. It's almost like if we looked at that Airbnb. But we were going to it in like a weekend or two. That's kind of how I feel with the draft guide right now. So the the web dev guys, they're great. We're, yeah. just, we're just not done with it, you know. And like the expected launch date is like July twelfth, I think, or some shit. And is that a hard date? You need it? Like no, I went based off of what they said the expected launch date was. I have no doubt that what we bring out as a finished product will be it. But like I haven't really got around to doing the content, like all the content for the draft guide and stuff. Because I've been putting out so much content on YouTube. Yeah. Um, also, YouTube Shorts. Yeah. The minute-long videos. If any of you guys are content creators out there, you need to be doing Shorts. This is one... Sh- I usually give away... Like, this is something I would have tweeted by now and given away out to everybody. But I'm riding this for as long as I can. The Shorts are, like, really crushing for us right now. Really? Like, that's where you're seeing the most subscribers to coming this, in? They're or? not bringing in subscribers specifically themselves. But the channel sees, like big growth on days that I put them out. So it's bringing a lot. YouTube is just showing more people my channel on days that I use the shorts. I it's, get that. Then what's the benefit if they're not subscribing? They are. We're getting a lot more subscribers, but you can look in the analytics and they're not subscribing from the short video itself. Oh. The channel is getting more growth on days I put out shorts, but not specifically from the shorts. So what it tells me is that YouTube's seeing like, oh, he's using shorts. Let's bring more people to his channel overall. Or they're watching the 45 second short. And then at the end of it, it puts a little card of a new video on. And then they watch the long term Mm. video and then subscribe to it. So I'm thinking about pumping up. I did two shorts yesterday. I'm thinking about doing the 5 a.m. video that we do daily. Yeah. And then doing like a short at, we already have been doing one short at 5 p.m. And I'm thinking about maybe doing like a noon, 5 p.m., 9 p.m. Wow. Because we're seeing, yeah, like, we're seeing numbers, um, our average, like, s- daily subscriber growth in June was, like, 65 to 75 new subs a day, and that was, I look back at last June, and the high of any day was, like, 60. So, we're growing quickly, and it might just be the COVID thing, but I think the shorts have a little bit of uh, to do with it, so I'm going to try to ride this as hard as I can right now. That's crazy. Yeah. And. What, do you have a goal in mind of subscribers you want to hit this summer? Um, no, I'm not. I don't really have a goal for it. I would say like, I don't know. Like, I, I'm I'm hoping this can be like sort of an exponential thing. To be honest with you, like, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised. Like, okay, we're at we're we're gonna hit fifty probably. We hit forty nine thousand a couple of days ago. I think we'll hit fifty in less than five days, maybe five six days, whatever. I wouldn't be surprised if we kept up at this pace. Those, the last week of August and, like, the first week of September, I wouldn't be surprised if we were pulling in, like, 750 to 850 new subs every day. What? So I think we could see, like, 15K in, like, a two-week period. I don't know. Like, we'll be above 60, I think. I think we should probably flirt with 70 to 80 in that range, maybe, by the end of the summer-ish. That's nuts. I feel like, I, maybe, I've thought you were 50 this whole time. I feel like you've been at, like, 40 to 50 really like 46 for so long. In the off-season, yeah. Is that, like, not correct? No, that's probably about right. Because we got usually what happens is we hit the end of the summer, and that's like the end of the growth for like a few months. But I feel like even like last 46. summer you well were... no because we hit like forty six. We went from like thirty to forty six last summer. Oh really? You were at thirty? Like thirty two or something? You quit your job with only thirty two thousand subscribers. I, think I quit my job with like tw- I think I was like okay full time with like five thousand subscribers. That's to be insane. With yeah. Um, You're so dumb and not dumb. I'm a goat. Like you saw five subs. You saw five subs. We fucking out. Full time. <laughs> we in this. Full time. No. Uh, That's crazy. I think uh, I think because at the end of last summer, we were at like 46, 47, you just had 50 in your mind for the whole year. And you're just like, been at 50, been at 50. Meanwhile, we were like still 5,000 away from 50. I, honestly, realistically, I think I you were at 40, like, like 40 to 46 for years. 
Yeah. No, I don't know that, why. No, that wasn't the case. I have no idea. Um, you know, I was thinking too, me and TJ got into like a very long discussion the other night and we were, I was thinking like, he was basically just like, are you, are you happy with your work? Like, are you happy with like what you're doing work wise day in and day out? And I was like, there are definitely things that I wish I could focus more on. Like, you know, the marketing stuff, but for like the behind the business series next off season, there's two things I was thinking. One, I might just do that whole series by myself. Like go each week and do an in-depth video on my work, every aspect of it. What are you doing? I don't want to think guys go. Making me laugh. You're making me break my cup. My brain's not Fog. working anymore. Um, yeah, the cloud went from you to me over here. So each week do a different aspect of my work and go in depth on it. Like literally week one, working with sponsors. Week two, like how to actually uh, set up a podcast, YouTube channel and distribute content out through it. Week three, um, you know, like different like brain, it just does like very in-depth parts of everything I do work-wise that would get the content creator from zero to like publishing out content at scale. Basically like how to become a full-time content creator without being viral you know like i think i think yeah. i think that's like the idea behind it because everyone has this idea of like content creators being yeah. like you have to be viral in order to do shit and it'd be cool to be to be able to teach people that it's like it's not like, like a master's a, class yeah exactly like a master's class and like real con like a real dude who really went from nothing to full time as a content creator without being viral like you know it's very very realistic to be able to do something like that um, I do like that, but I also do like when you, like, I do watch the behind the business when you interview people. Yeah. I just don't think there's not that many that, and I'll probably start interviewing people that I think are in different areas. That's what I'm saying. I don't think you need to stick to just fantasy football. Yeah. I think like, I just enjoy, like Scott always says like, oh, you should interview people on the retail side. I'm like, that's just tough because everyone has rules, but I think just, just interviewing people that are just doing something different in their own capacity in their their industry would be really nice. Yeah, that's almost. But like, also, I think that's a great idea. You know what I mean? Like yeah. each week, like it's almost for the people in the industry, but it's also for content creators because that's really the way. Like a lot of people, if you're starting off a business nowadays, it's really almost looking at how you can be a content creator right around your business. So I think like if I could start that series, just completely taking the blinds back from from everything you know like camera equipment lighting equipment audio working with sponsors emails like connecting with other people in your community how to build your brand how to build your audience like literally everything from start to finish of it one one each week i think would be like a really cool thing so it's almost like behind the business but just like of me you know of my business yeah, you need to change down. the title yeah i would think of something new to, to do it i still think you should interview people i'll interview you right now my stomach hurts i don't think it was gloom free <laughs> Nothing in there was actually gluten. They, they just tell that to make sales. <laughs> <sighs> I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened today. I don't. <laughs> I don't even know. We did like one activity, and you can't focus I'm, I'm anymore. Fucking out. It's. I worked a lot, and I don't know. You know. Did you have you had work today? Yeah, I came from work. I left early because I worked nine days. I was like, can I leave two hours early? Is that? Is the, do you mind? I was like, do you actually mind? I would have minded. She, like, she was like, uh, I was like. <laughs> say that shit again. I was like, say that motherfucking I'll shit. Fucking end it yeah. myself. Fuck, I'm depressed. I think <laughs> I don't even know. Ask me a question, Steve. Okay, friends. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even funny. It wasn't even fucking funny. Uh, this is not. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, with I'm so guys. I I apologize. I will bring the noise next time. Next time. Oh, <laughs> why <are you> yelling? <laughs> why <are> you yelling? <laughs> why <are> you yelling? 